Ladies and gentlemen of the short game into the com video, I have a question for you. Would you like some information concerning the Radeon R9 380? Of course you would. Well, it's been announced that it will be appearing late June um, in desktops. Now, this has been confirmed by HP Envy with a series of their pro with their pre-built PCs. You're going to actually get the option, and this was actually announced in the press release, so it's not like a rumor or a murmur or anything like that, but it was actually in a press release that, and I quote, powerful and stylish, the HP Envy Tower is designed for content creators who need high performance processors and strong graphics capabilities for editing videos and photos. But for, for performance, excuse me, customers have the choice of up to the GTX 980 or AMD Radeon R9 380. Interesting, right? Now, there are some questions this brings up because immediately, if you think about this, most likely it's possible that it's a cheaper alternative to the two nine to the nine eighty, but it's also from the wording you could take that as the nine as the three eighty and the nine eighty are pretty much interchangeable. So in other words, they're going to be roughly the same level of performance. So there are some who are already assuming that it's possible that the R nine two ninety or the two ninety X is basically a rebranded into the 380 or the 380X. Obviously this is nothing to do with the 390 or the 390X. Now the 390 slash the 390X in particular, the 390X from what we understand is going to feature the high bandwidth memory, it's going to be uh, a new design, it's going to be the Fiji. But the lower end parts, there have been previous rumours which say they're going to be rebrands. So effectively the R9 380 could very much be a rebrand of the R9 290X. For example, we simply do not know at this point. And wait, there is more. The AMD Fiji is actually spotted in Code XL. Now, this is actually quite interesting because the fact that it's in Code XL, code XL 1.7 means that the GPU is very, very, very close. Code XL is effectively a debugging software from AMD. You can just Google it and it'll be the first thing that pops up and it says Code XL, this is me reading verbatim off the website. Code XL is a comprehensive tool suite that enables developers to harness the benefits of AMD CPUs, GPUs, and APUs and includes powerful GPU debugging, uh, comprehensive GPU and CPU profile and static CL, blah, 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 blah. I won't read the whole thing. I think you get the idea. The fact that it's actually popped up, however, is actually a good thing. It means that there's a good chance that the GPU is getting close. Uh, and another thing, and this one's a bit interesting, Fiji actually has a device ID ID of 7300. And it's possible that some folks on forums are saying that this means that it's actually utilizing the same one as Bermuda. So technically, Fiji could well be a derivative of Bermuda, but obviously we don't know yet because AMD haven't released a damn thing, despite my badgering. So all we can do is just wait. Um, it does mean that the GPUs are really close. Um, obviously, it's possible just bear in mind that the 380, so yeah, the 380 does not necessarily reflect when the 390X is going to be released. Um, because sometimes they may release them staggered release, sometimes the 390X or the high end part might go first, or what have you, what have you. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.